Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm Four Nine Seven Five, and today we're going to be having a look at the brand new Vitia in GTA Online. <laughs> So this vehicle was added today, it's a kind of barracks classic looking vehicle, it's like an old military kind of truck and it has this nice tarpaulin on the back and you may be wondering why I'm parked here um, as opposed to the garage where we'd normally go and customise it, well it's actually a Pegasus vehicle so unfortunately we can't customise this thing. But it is kind of an off-road truck, so I'm hearing grapeseed. I thought that would be a good place to go and test the vehicle. Um, since we can't customise it, I want to give sort of a short review of the vehicle. Now, it is a Pegasus vehicle, as I mentioned, so you have to buy it on Warstock. It costs about 1.6 million or 1.2 million if you have the trade price. And then you call it in through Pegasus and... Yeah, there is a chance that this vehicle might not actually spawn because Pegasus is very unreliable. But if it does spawn, this is what it looks like. It's, um, yeah, it's basically a barracks with a different front end and some different looking wheels. Nothing too special, but let's hop into the vehicle and um, actually give this thing a little bit of a road test because we can't customize it. So how the vehicle vehicle comes is the performance of it so I've never driven this vehicle I've literally just bought the vehicle spawned it in and this is the first time I've ever driven it so I don't know what to expect in this thing it is a truck so I'm not really expecting too much out of it um, I don't know whether it's faster than the barracks or not now people can sit in the back there so, like you can in the barracks, um, the seating area, those benches on the back, you are able to um, transport your friends in the back, which is actually pretty cool. Um, you can all go like off-roading together, which is really, really nice. But, sort of my test for today, I want to see whether we can actually get this thing up Mount Chiliad. Since it is kind of like an off-road military style vehicle, I figured that would be a good test of the thing since we can't actually customise it. Right, we're at the bottom. Now I have to say, cruising around the streets, this thing is not fast at all. I mean, it is a giant truck, so I wasn't expecting too much out of it, but it is not fast. So hopefully it shines a bit better in the off-road section. It is doing fairly well climbing up here. I mean, it's not the most difficult terrain. Okay, we got some rocks here. I could go down to the right, but I want to see if we can get over these rocks, if it has enough power for that. Mm, not quite. Let's give it a bit of a run up and let's see if we can do that again. Okay, here we go. Gonna run up this time. Just going to boot it. Okay, yeah. So it does need a little bit of a boot up. I mean, it is a massive truck. Um, so, yeah, bear that in mind. If you are taking this thing off-road, it might need a few little run-ups at bigger hills and stuff. We do seem to be struggling a little bit with this bit of hill, so I'm just going to handbrake it. Full revs, and then hopefully we can go then. I'm just going to sort of point the nose down hill a little bit. That can sometimes help. I think this is as far as we can make it, actually. Um, yeah, that's going to be my review of the brand new Vitia added as part of the Cayo Perico heist. It's a pretty useless truck, to be honest, unless you want to carry your friends around. I would not advise buying this, buying this vehicle. I mean, it costs 1.6 million or 1.2 million if you have the trade price. And for what you get, it can barely even climb Mount Chiliad, so it's not really very useful. Um, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you going to be buying this vehicle? Do you think it's actually a cool vehicle? Uh, let me know down there. And we are doing a merch giveaway for 700 subs. So if you want to go and join in with that, then I will leave a link in the description to the giveaway down below. 
But that's going to do it for today. Thanks all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.